Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My mother used to make this on Sundays for dinner. If she not feel like for add the white, the rice in uh, the mixture, she put the cornmeal in it. So I'm gonna show you how my mother used to prepare turn cornmeal with gungo. So if you don't want to see how me whip up this thing in my kitchen, you have to come on and ride my boat with me. Cause it's the Indian. Oh. You definitely have to need the cornmeal. No, make sure the cornmeal you get is the refined cornmeal. You don't want to use the coarse cornmeal. Get the refined cornmeal. It doesn't matter which brand you get, but make sure say it's a refined. You're gonna need three tablespoons of. Butter, one cup of coconut milk, gongo. As usual, any brand is fine. Now you're gonna add some black pepper, thyme, salt. Come on and let's get this thing cracking. So here we go, guys. I have three cup of water in the pot. I'm using my big pot because I want a big enough size pot so the cornmeal have room to expand, right? So I'm gonna start off with three cups of water. Then I'm gonna add one cup of coconut milk, one full can. Of coconut milk. Then I'm also gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Then I'm gonna put my gungo in one can of gungo. Remember, you're preparing this just like you would if you was gonna cook rice and peas. One teaspoon of salt. If you want to make it more salty, go ahead and put in the salt. But me, me, I try to watch my my cholesterol. One teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, we're gonna add one teaspoon of pimento seed. One teaspoon of thyme. Now, guys, I'm using the dry thyme. If you have the fresh thyme, use it. All right. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this come to a full boil. So I'm gonna make this cook for about 15 minutes. After this cooking of 15 minutes, me I come back and show the home add the cornmeal in I dry. It's been cooking for 15 minutes on low to medium heat, right? So next thing I'm gonna do now, I have a two-pound bag of cornmeal, refined cornmeal. You just wanna go ahead and add it in a little at a time and keep stirring as you can see the consistency I think it's just too thick it's not gonna cook if it's like this it's not going to cook thoroughly so you can go ahead add some water to it and stir and don't forget do not turn up your fire high enough make sure it's on the habit pan low heat when I do this low heat I'm still gonna go ahead and add some more water to this and preferable if you have hot water you use that because hot water make it just constant cooking it don't stop the process it just stay cooking and you just keep at it now it's up to you how soft you want your cornmeal to be cooked some people like them cornmeal kind of you know soft some people like it not so dry everybody different there are several brothers seven different mine if this is what it's supposed to look like when you get done adding your water and, and your season and everything this is what it's supposed to look like I'm gonna cover this up on low heat and I'm gonna let it cook for a good 30 minutes so see it back in 30 minutes okay guys so the cornmeal has been cooking for 25 to 30 minutes and as you can see it is all done so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put it on a plate I'm making this way it look like see it back in three minutes so here you go guys it's all done turn cornmeal meal with gungo all right give it a try let me know how you like it don't forget to like and subscribe say hello and once again from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy